Bernardino, they are remembering today 14 lives lost in a terrorist attack at a holiday party. 22 others were wounded on this day in 2015. Haley Winslow was live with the announcement of a new memorial that has been set up to honor those victims. Haley. Hey, Marla. Yes, there's been a couple ceremonies today. This one at Cal State San Bernardino. It just finished up on campus where five of the victims went to school. Here at the Peace Garden, they honored all 14 lives lost in the massacre. Earlier today, the San Bernardino County Museum in Redlands, they also had a special dedication today. It was called the Curtain of Courage. It's a model of what the exhibit will look like that you're looking at right here. It's a curved curtain that will be commemorated with colored glass and inscriptions chosen by their families. Artist Walter Hood worked on this creation with the families who came by to see it today. It will be on display until December 19th. So this is what the exhibit will look like when it's unveiled in the spring. It'll be a quiet place for reflection on the people, courageous stories, and lessons of December 2nd and the impact that they had on the county. It was six years ago today when a married couple that, according to the FBI, were inspired by foreign terrorist groups, went into a training event and Christmas party for county employees at the Inland Regional Center. They killed 14 people and injured 22. This man lost his wife, the love of his life. You should remember every uh, situation that happens, anything from 9-11 till today, uh, from a couple days ago in Michigan. Um, Every day that has passed, somebody's passing, it brings a heart and suffering to somebody else. So we have to always be a member of others. Here at the Peace Garden, they put down flowers and rang their bell 14 times. Reporting live, I'm Haley Winslow, Fox 11 News.